Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm excited to discuss a new product that I've worked on for quite some time and I finally got my version in. Um, I've done extensive beta testing on it and now I'm releasing the final design. This is my new Stay Put Helping Hand System. Now, many of you are familiar with similar designs on the market. Um, there's a lot of different designs. Uh, typical designs from what we're normally used to from back well into the 80s. This is the old school design. Now this one, of course, has seen better days. This was left to me by my dad, so I'll definitely be keeping this. Again, it's got sentimental value. I've made a lot of money with these. Um, but more traditional, on more up-to-date version, is something like you see here, which is known as quad hands. And they use these metal, I guess they're like aluminum, that's what they feel like. They articulate in different directions and you can rotate the alligator clips. We're still dealing with alligator clips and just to put it mildly, these all but suck. Uh, first of all, it's a joint contraption and when I say that, of course, you've got your four prongs on each side and some guys like this, some guys don't. I don't like it because dealing with soldering for a living, uh, the thing I don't like is it's very hard to adjust to hold specific components because they're already joined on top of you having one long arm and one short arm. Okay, so there's common sense involved here that for most applications, uh, if you're just doing a wire, uh, holding a connector or wire, excuse me, you may get away with it. Um, but you can see here, and this is something I've dealt with since I've gotten these, and these are not cheap, they're about 50 bucks, and they do have the weighted base, the rubber feet. And that's what you're always dealing with. The arms come loose. You can't hold position exactly. You can't articulate them exactly because they do fight you. And just to put it mildly, my personal opinion, they suck. I mean, and again, I solder every day. I go through two ounces of flux just to give you an idea in about three months. That'll tell you how many connections I'm doing for those guys out there who are wondering. That'll quantify exactly where I'm at. So the next level that I feel makes these different we're going to just go over the design. What you see before you is the identical design. They're exactly the same. Now, what you're looking at is the three inch bar extension pieces. You will, when you purchase the unit, get the entire system where all the three inch bars are included. So you're going to get two three inch bars. Now, you could always purchase more of these. I will be selling these separately if you wanted to extend this for whatever purpose you'd like. You have full articulation here. Everything is fully toolless. You can articulate, you can come around, um, and being you can modify the actual length by simply using one bar, using no bar, and just having your jaws mounted to the base allows for just massive amounts of expandability to the point of you essentially having, just in this stock design with the two extensions included with it, three tools in one. Let me explain. You can have the jaw mounted to the base directly. The base is a steel plate, 80 by 80 millimeter. Um, it weighs one and a half pounds. Uh, naturally, if you're doing um, refined work as far as what you're doing close, if you're doing uh, close soldering, you definitely want to be close to the pivot point. If we come all the way out with our arms, you're definitely going to find that the leverage point, because these are steel. This entire unit steel, other than the anodized aluminum uh, thumb screws on the hardware, uh, the screws inside are five mil, the nuts are on the other side, so it's a completely toolless module. You can rotate, you can articulate, and again, there is no more limitation in precision. And that's something that always has bothered me. Now, <clears throat> once again, a smaller design, if you're only using one bar, you can see you can stay here. If you wanted to, once again, install the jaw to the base plate itself for whatever kind of fine precision work you're doing, you would have that capability, once again, in one continuous tool. Now, to give you an idea of durability, let's talk about that. These arms are steel. Everything on this chassis is steel. You don't have crap here. These are over 9 millimeters in thickness, okay? The pivot balls, they're polished perfectly, so you can rotate and do what you need to do without burring. And, of course, the jaws as well. And this is the beauty of this whole system. Base as well. This is buy once and you're done and protected. Now, silicone tubing is something that a lot of vendors do not include with helping hands. I do not understand that. You need silicone tubing because when you're working on uh, fine wires, and I deal with silicone tubing, or excuse me, silicone wire every day, you do not want to mar anything. Okay, these are high tension springs. You can see them right here. So you are set to go 
And the holding force, I would say, is somewhere around six to eight ounces. So again, on this little frame, that's a lot. Naturally, the, the wider we go, the more tension you're going to have. Um, I actually have one of my new waterproof switches. This design is uh, coming out. It's all fully potted. Just to give you an idea of just how easy, I mean, you're set to go. Whatever design you want to go with, articulate in seconds. In seconds. You can set the torque. You can release the torque. And you can see right here just how easy this is. Tighten it down, lock it, you're set to go. Okay? Now, to go over the actual hardware that's actually um, making up this design. These discs are once again steel. Okay, They are two millimeters in thickness. You can see where the actual circles are cut out and that's where our pivot ball goes in. And you just snap them in and that's how you would adjust your actual length. Then you just come in here. This is naturally threaded on one end and you're set to go. Now, the key to this, naturally, is you have to insert the opposite arm so that you can tighten these down together. And then once you do that, you can see how you're able to pivot, rotate, and do what you need to do. Okay? But again, just to confirm your hardware, wing nut 5 mil, mounting hardware 5 mil, thread pattern on the um, outside actual circle will be 5 millimeter. And again, you have all that option with the thumb nut to make this a nice, clean, easy-to-adjust module. Now, a lot of guys out there, um, I get questions on this a lot, um, especially as I was um, discussing with um, future uh, and actually previous clients on the design, and they wanted to know if you could join this together or why wouldn't I? And you can see here the platform, if you join, what I find with helping hands join together is most of the time, it can find you in the ability to use them and the articulation pattern you need. So that being said, I like them separate myself because you can then position everything at the base level and then on top of that do your articulation wherever you need to go and whatever you're trying to go with. Okay, height adjustment, and that's one thing with the three bar, you can come way up if you're doing assemblies and you need something done on top. If you want to do that, you've got all of that capability and on top of the rotating capability, which is just amazing. You can rotate the base, turn everything around. Again, depending upon how you have it, you're basically set to go. Um, that is the main reason that I went with a separate design. Now, that being said, I will be selling a bracket very shortly that will allow you to join the base together should you decide to do that. But once again, many times I don't feel it's going to be necessary. Now, the base, and this is something I got, I got asked a lot about, I wanted a base that would not scratch because a lot of the soldering I do when I'm building my CNC controllers, I'm doing it inside a chassis. If I'm doing it inside a chassis, I want rubber feet because that detail is critical so that we don't mar our chassis. Or if you're working on a nice table, you don't want to scratch anything. You certainly don't want movement. These are 3M rubber feet, so you're good to go. So again, um, this unit should, in all um, honesty, last you forever. I mean, I don't really foresee any type of damage with these. You can actually change out your arms. I should say your grippers. You can see that these do have a textured pattern to them. So whatever you're trying to grab, once again, I have one of my 4 mil ring connectors, which I use all the time. You can come in here, hold it, come over. Again, there are many different types of versions of these on the market. I've seen so many of them where they have the traditional uh, hardware where, again, you're going to just simply use an Allen screw. I just personally don't see a point in that. I'd much rather have toolless manipulation. Because for general purpose assembly, that's all you require. Once again, you've got Allen keys here. You can adjust these. You can see these are steel as well. And I will be including a big piece, about an 8-inch long piece of silicone tubing, so that once again we can protect whatever you're soldering, if that's what your general assembly is. If you're just doing general assembly, these are great. Um, they're certainly not made to do, you know, full-scale welding with. Um, that's not what they're designed is. The ultimate design is a soldering jig. Whether you're doing soldering jig for general assembly, if you're doing circuit board work, you're golden there. Um, anything you're doing with fine soldering and you need precision, these are going to be your best friend. I mean, without a doubt. And again, depending on how you want to assemble it, to get into that fine position, because I get asked this a lot, you know, my hands are weak, I can't get, you know, that fine positioning that I need. You just come in, and you can either tighten either end. And once you do that, once you get that thumb nut or a thumb screw actually rotating, you're set. 
and you're good. And that's why I'm including the Allen key as well, because some guys may find it better to just use that and just come in and, you know, if they prefer that method. Whichever way you want to go, you're golden. But overall, these don't move. When you go to solder, like I said, you can come in here, depending on your articulate your articulated point, which will, of course, adjust where your jaw is able to move if you don't move it out, because we can come out here. But you can come over here, and then let's just hypothetically say we want to come in here. You can adjust your height, come in, and get your, something many of you may or may not know, if you ever find that a silicone lead will not be straight, roll the lead in your hands, and the conductors inside the casing will straighten out. You can see here, you can come in, do whatever kind of placement you'd like to get your assembly completed. Okay, you don't like this angle because, of course, you can't really solder unless you're soldering flat. Rotate. Okay, very, very simple. You do the same thing. Come in, adjust your height, and you're done. So, again, this, without a doubt, is a tool. And this is my set right here I've personally been using. Um, again, it's made me a lot of money, um, and it saves me a lot of time. And I feel it's going to save many of you a lot of time, depending upon whatever craft you're working with. This tool is amazing. Um, there's a lot of different designs on the market. I know for a fact there's none that are tools. So this takes all the guesswork out. And with the three, the uh, actual three-position extension, depending upon if you want to just use the jaws itself to the base or you want to do um, the actual bar extensions, however many you require, all of this is included. So there's no optional parts. I want to do it all because different applications are going to require you to have different lengths, and I realize that. So again, I hope the video has been helpful. Um, I will put a link in the description you guys can check out. Uh, the price is definitely going to be comparable. Right now I'm doing some market research just to see what's fair, but uh, it'll definitely be cheaper than anything on the market in this range with this kind of durability. So... And that's imperative to me because I feel everybody should have a set of these. I mean, it shouldn't be something that's out of everyone's reach. Um, High-end jewelers usually use uh, jigs like this, but without a doubt, um, whether you're into electronics assembly, radio control assembly, if you're doing any type of drone-type automation as far as uh, circuit board assembly, these are just imperative. So again, guys, I want to thank you all for your support. For any of you staying tuned to watch the whole video, I really do appreciate it. Um, again... You can contact me direct with questions and quotes uh, for different orders. Right now I have 10 of these in stock. Of course, I will be uh, fulfilling orders on a first-come, first-served basis. I've had a lot of questions about these, when I was going to release them. And um, I will naturally uh, fulfill those orders naturally in that, that time frame as far as who ordered and contact me first. Um, if you do have questions, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. Of course, I know uh, I try to cover everything in the videos, but if you have any specific questions, again, all parts will be able to be purchased separately. You'll, once you order one of these, you will never need to buy an entire unit unless you decide to. And that's something else I love. A lot of these kind of components, you once it's destroyed, the whole thing is shot. Unless you start buying another one and piecing it out or whatever. I don't believe in that. Make it simple. And in this way, you guys have an investment that lasts. Um, again, you can contact me also at eDealers Direct. And that is my eBay store. You will have that information as well. And you guys will be set. Thank you all for your time. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Take care.